I'm Stan Lemon. I'm a professor of microbiology and immunology here at the University of Texas Medical Branch and the principal investigator of the Galveston National Laboratory. We have had a number of BSL-3 laboratories, a uh, slightly lower category of containment for a number of years. Uh, we work on West Nile virus, for example, in these kinds of facilities. But we recognize that agents like the H5N1 avian influenza, um, agents like Ebola virus that you may have heard about, or Marburg virus, a closely related virus in Africa, pose a much greater risk to the scientist. Uh, the risk is really to the scientist working with these bugs, not, not to um, the immediate community. A BSL-4 lab is needed so we can work with these agents safely. Uh, one needs to be able to handle these, laboratory, uh, these, these um, bugs in the laboratory. One needs to be able to uh, develop and utilize um, humanely and uh, as uh, minimally as possible, but absolutely necessary, animal models of these infections to be able to determine whether a vaccine or a therapeutic, a drug, is capable of intervening in the course of the disease. It will look like a, uh, a regular lab in many ways, um, but the windows will all be airtight. All the penetrations coming into the room uh, will be airtight. You would see individuals working within the high containment lab in what looks like a spacesuit with their air being piped in from the outside. Uh, they'd have just like a spacesuit helmet over their heads. Uh, and uh, it, it's not an easy way to do research, it's not an easy way to work in a suit like that. Um, they would be working at um, what are called biosafety cabinets, which are uh, ventilated cabinets with the agent inside, uh, so that the uh, infectious agent is um, not allowed to become uh, airborne in the ambient air within the room. You would see a tremendous amount of uh, high efficiency particulate uh, uh, air filters on top of the lab, outside the lab, all the air coming in the lab, all the air going out of the lab being very, very carefully filtered, all of the liquid effluent being decontaminated by high heat, uh, anything exiting the lab, including the surfaces of the spacesuits that these investigators are wearing, being chemically decontaminated. Um, you'd see a very high level of uh, redundant safety measures that I think probably best is likened to a 747 jet plane where you have redundant systems where if any one system fails, there's two systems to back it up. This has been a tremendous step for the infectious disease program here and, and it has really catapulted UTMB to the forefront nationally and internationally in the infectious disease community. So we get requests almost every day from scientists around the world who are looking for jobs, who want to come here who want to be able to access our facilities, work within our facilities, join our faculty, work with our faculty, and that's very, very uh, rewarding to see that.